All right, so last night in Cincinnati, I had the opportunity to ask some of Trump supporters attending the rally what they thought of the mainstream media's treatment of President-elect Trump. Take a look. How many of you think the media in this country has been unfair to Donald Trump? Yeah. Hey, who's been the worst in the media? CNN. Hey. CNN. ABC. ABC, who else? CNN. MSNBC. MSNBC, who else? CNN. CNN. Here now with reaction, syndicated columnist, the host of the upcoming series, Michelle Malkin investigates on CRTV. Uh, it, dot com is Michelle Malkin, old friend. I missed you. We haven't had you in a while. Uh, congratulations oh, on the yeah. new series. I'm very happy for you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Very excited about uh, hosting my own investigative show, but more excited to be back with you here, I, Sean. We missed you, reveling. and I know uh, it's been too long. All right, so I asked people. They get it. They understand uh, what happened in this election. I made a comment that if you colluded with the Clinton campaign, if you were feeding questions to her before a debate like CNN or seeking questions for Donald Trump from the DNC, that probably you don't belong in the White House press office because I kind of view that as fake news. What are your thoughts? Well, I, I think you raise a very good point, and I hope that uh, your friends in the, in the upcoming Trump administration are listening. There need to be consequences for the dishonesty and for the fakery and for the agenda-driven um, journalism, quote-unquote, uh, that has uh, been allowed to have free reign in Washington for, for far too long. And as I said, I'm enjoying, I am reveling in all of the tears that we're seeing from the buttercups and the snowflakes, <laughs> the snowflakes who were in full yeah. meltdown in the elite MSM. It is about time that they be called out. And I think that, it, it, that Donald Trump has the prerogative uh, to remind these people of how wrong they were. And I hope he does it not only in Ohio, as he did, last night, but everywhere else where he's going to thank the voters who ignored all of the fake news uh, and did the right thing for the country. You know, that's really what happened. I call this the forgotten man, the forgotten woman election. And I gave out statistics. I won't repeat them now for an entire year. I know you know what they are, but there are so many millions of Americans suffering in poverty on food stamps, out of work, lowest home ownership rate in 51 years. She couldn't tap into that. She didn't seem to understand what was happening. So it's Obama's failure. Hillary's a horrible candidate. And he said he's going to drain the swamp and fix the mess. Are you happy with the plan as he's laid it out, especially the economic plan? So far, yes. And I, was, I think what you're seeing with the media is what you're seeing at the meltdown uh, that you talked about with uh, Kellyanne at Harvard. These people are still in denial. And denial ain't just a river in Egypt. It's also the fuel uh, that has um, basically been the lifeblood, not only of all of these strategists and these consultants and the consultant class and the donor class in Washington, but also all the, these losers in the mainstream media who are completely out of touch with what you call the forgotten women and the forgotten men. And it's their absolute contempt for those people who are their readers, who are paying for subscriptions, who are uh, putting food on the table of these journalists um, that explains why they're in such a meltdown now. And look, I have been in the news and opinion business for 25 years now, and I've never seen uh, as as big as an unhinged movement as we're seeing with these people um, who have doubled down on on, on their losing condescending yeah, gonna, ways when it comes to how they me, treat American people. It's going to get ugly. I, I think yes. th they, they've only begun the attempts at slander, smear, besmirchment. I think it's only the beginning. I think if you voted for Donald Trump and you want him to succeed and you believe in his agenda, you better buckle up because there's rough waters ahead in a big way. That's my prediction. I no, wish I was wrong, but no I don't think I am. No doubt about it. Great to see you again, Michelle. We'll be watching on CRTV.com. Thank you. Thanks, Sean.